So, a couple days ago, I saw on Twitter that Japan got a new ranked mode in Smash Ultimate. It translates to Raging Battle, and it actually looks incredible. However, something that I didn't see that many people talking about is how it actually isn't new. It first started over six months ago, and I'm amazed that so few of us in the US knew about this. I'm gonna go over what I found about this, and why this could really help the competitive scene if implemented in the US or anywhere else, really. So first off, what is it? Well, basically it's an online challenge that runs for two hours on a specified date. It has a GSP-like system, and if you win, your numbers go up, and if you lose, your numbers go down. You also get matched against people who are at similar levels to you. It has a leaderboard at the end showing off the top 100 results. And the top 8 or so players after the two hours are up get invited to go to Nintendo to compete in their own competition held later on. These previous tournaments from February and March have featured players like Ron, who I made a whole video about, Zaki, the DDD player who beat MKLeo in Smash 4, Hikaru, one of the best Donkey Kong players, and much more. There was a four-month gap between tournaments, which I believe is just due to COVID, but it looks like they are held about every month and a half or so. So why did no one in the US hear about this? Why is this making news now when it's the third iteration? Well, the first one was items on 3 stock with charge cutting lid, which I believe is Smash Meter. And the second one was even worse with 2 stocks and random stages with items and hazards on as well as Smash Meter. So it's honestly pretty incredible that some of the top players were still able to get into the top 10 with how random of a rule set it was. It's making news now though because they're using much closer to a competitive rule set for their third iteration with only small battlefield and a 2 stock 4 minute rule set. Not perfect, but still pretty competitive. Since the goal is to try and win as many games as you can, it's not the worst rule set. And if you look at the winners from this last one, you'll see some pretty recognizable names like Shutan, T, and, well, T, in the top three, who are all top 15 PGR players, so it's actually a decent indication of skill. This whole process is so incredibly cool, especially getting invited to be able to compete at Nintendo. It can give players a goal to work towards since they show the top 100 at the end, which is a lot of players. This could help reveal some hidden bosses in the competitive scene. I'd love to see some random guy who's never been to a tournament take down some PGR players. It would also be incredibly fun to stream and watch top players duke it out against each other, fighting for top spots on the leaderboard. It seems like such an exciting event that could really help the scene grow and pull in huge numbers in viewership, especially if they did this every other month or so. They could maybe even pull in sponsors, I'm not really sure. But having something that is entirely in-game is such a huge step forward, even though the online system is so bad. Unfortunately though, the whole point of these is to make the top few spots to get invited to Nintendo, and in the US, traveling is not such a great idea right now. So we'll probably have to wait for a while for this to get implemented, if it ever does. I wouldn't be holding my breath for this right now. And it wasn't until the third time that they actually got a competitive rule set, so I wouldn't be too excited. But this definitely has potential, and it's really exciting to see. Even if it's not a competitive rule set, I think I can still have fun with it. So let me know in the comments what you think of this, and how you'd like to see it implemented if it were brought to North America or any other region. I think if it were in the US, it would probably help to break it down into sub-regions, just because we're more spread out with so many more people. I would have so much fun streaming an event like this, it just has so much potential. I know they've had their online tournaments before, but this is such a leap forward logistically. So that's about it for this video, thank you to my supporters on Patreon, and thank you so much for watching. Peace.